Hello friends, Osiris here and in today's video we're going over a brand new exploit for the item printer to guarantee the Pokeball Lotto and as many special Pokeballs as you like. So a brand new exploit has been discovered with the item printer in the Blueberry Academy and credit for this has to go to two Japanese players. There is Stella underscore SSA and Ishopoya over on Twitter. Their handles will be linked down in the description as well as some work by Anubis and Phonics as well who have brought this to the community's attention. In today's video we're going to show you exactly what you need to do to get as many of these rare Pokeballs as you like and stop wasting so many resources because one of the main reasons why we're using the item printer in particular is because of the pokeball lotto or the main reason anyway but getting it is sometimes a little bit tricky but with this method you're going to be able to guarantee it every time so the setup for this is going to be obviously in the club room in the indigo disc in the blueberry academy when you're here you want to position yourself in front of the item printer and then start a conversation with the npc would you like to print some items and then get to this screen here. I want to print something. Now, don't press A just yet because the next A press will take you through into the material section where you're going to actually start the print job. So from this screen right now, what we're going to do is we're going to hit our home menu. Then we're going to go down into system settings and then down into system and date and time. Now, if your synchronized clock here is on, just toggle it off. That's all you need to do with this screen. That'll open up the date and time options for you here. Now, the date and time that we're going to be going for, there is a target date and time that we're going to be wanting to hit, and it goes down to seconds. Unfortunately, on the switch counter, we don't have access to the seconds option, so we can only see hours and minutes. But we can get around that by having an external stopwatch or clock that you can utilize with seconds on. Use something like your phone, which I've been using for this. Or you can use something on your PC as well. But basically, when you hit the OK, you're going to want to sync that up with your external clock counter so you can keep an eye on the seconds because we are going to be pushing the A button on a specific time. So first thing that we're going to do is put a date in for a print job that is going to guarantee us the Pokeball Lotto. So this is the first step in this process. Now, the date that we know that activates this at the moment is going to be the 22nd of April 2024 and the time is going to be 1 27 and this is p.m so 1 27 p.m and if your date looks a little bit different to mine i'm obviously in the uk so we have day month year rather than month day yeah just know that the date is the 22nd of april is what you're going to want to put in now. once you've got your date and time looking like this on your switch and your time already you're going to want to hit the a and your timer at the same time so they are in sync we'll go through it and then we're going to want to hop straight back into game and we're going to want to hit this A button to initiate the item printer on 8 seconds if you're on an OLED switch or 7 seconds if you are on an older switch model that isn't an OLED because there is a time delay between the OLED and the older switches that is a slight difference. The older switches seem to be about minus 2 of the target time that we need. So for this specific date to set up the Pokeball Lotto, you're going to need 1.27 p.m. and 9 seconds. So like I say, if you're on an old switch, you want to be hitting the A on 7 seconds. If you've got an OLED switch like me, it's going to be 8 seconds. Now, it may depend on your switch system. We hit it on 8 here because I'm on an OLED, but you're going to have to just play around with that. Generally, it will be 2 for the majority of you unless you're on an OLED model. And it will be eight seconds to get that nine second target if that makes sense so once you're in this screen you don't need to worry about timings or anything like that but just turn the print jobs down to one because we aren't wanting to do many and then just commit to this if you've got your timings right you will generally be hitting one pp max item there are times if you're a little bit too early you'll be getting seven nuggets as well so one of those two if you get them will guarantee you the Pokeball Lotto. If you don't get it, just play around with your timings. You're syncing up with your external clock, but you should be able to get it. There we go, PP Max. And now you will see the Pokeball Lotto will mysteriously appear. And this is guaranteed. So this is the way that we're always going to come back to and set it up every time. Pokeball Lotto is set up, which is great. So that's the first step in this process. Now from here, don't do anything. Just press B, cancel out of it. You're not going to lose your Pokeball Lotto and then come back into it and get to that screen again 
where you're going to have this I want to print something option. Now, we are going to put in a new date in our date and time section of our switch. And then we're going to go for a new target date. So we'll hit our home menu again. Come down to system settings. Down in system. Down into date and time. And then we are going to go into date and time options again. And this time we are going to change the date to the 20th of May 2016. And we are going to change the time to 2.11am. Make sure it's AM for the second one. And then the target time, the target seconds for this one is 13. So if you're on an OLED switch, I would suggest testing 12 seconds is when you press that A, I want to print. Or if you're on an older switch, like I'm not, like a non-OLED switch, you want to be hitting it on 11 seconds. So getting that target second of 13. So we'll sync everything up. Sync. There we go. I'm back into game. Now I need to wait because I'm on an OLED till 12 seconds. Like I say, if you're on a new older switch, you want to be doing it on 11, 9, 10, 11, 12. Right. There we go. If you've done everything right, going into this screen, we want to change our jobs back to, to 10. So we've got maximum jobs here. And then we want to just get the material required for these jobs and then lock it in. Any materials, fine. There's no requirements for the materials. Like I say, if you've done this right, you are then going to get every single drop as a special apricorn beast ball or anything like that these the, this specific date and time if you hit the target are all going to be the same every single time you do it so you'll see the selection of balls here every single drop is a special ball so we've got dream ball sport ball dream ball friend ball sport ball friend ball beast ball safari ball moon ball and lever ball this specific sequence of date and time if you hit that second correctly get that sequence right you're always going to get this exact same result so this is a great way if you want to farm friend balls dream balls and even the beast ball that you're getting a guaranteed drop every time it's always a good one to do and you're getting the maximum amount out of the item printer every time you're doing it by doing just two drop jobs so that's great seeing some other references to this where you're having to reset your switch and boot it back up again i haven't found that i've ever needed to do that so if you're following along with me, you should be fine not needing to close down the switch or anything like that. Now, after this screen, the next step, if you want to do it again, you just repeat and do the same setup as we did before. So you go in to this screen. I want to print something and then you come back into your home screen, system settings and down in the system, down into date and time again. And then we're going to go back to that original date of the 4th of April 2024. And we are going to go to 1 27 so it's 1 27 p.m and we're going to do that initial setup where our target time is 1 27 and 9 seconds we know we need to hit that target on eight seconds we're ready to go sync up with your external clock there we go back into the game and then we wait till that eight seconds and then five six seven eight and then we are going to change it just down to one job once again and once you've got the requirements for the material, we can just go through and do the job again. You'll be able to see once you get this down and you've practiced this a few times, you've got your delay second down to the T. You're going to be able to repeat this over and over and over again and just rinse through this really, really easy. So if you've got the timing right, it should be a PP max. I say if you do it a bit early, you can get seven nuggets, but it will still activate the Pokeball Lotto. There's a PP max and we'll see Pokeball Lotto will come up once again so like i say it's just about finding out what your delay is you know you might have a non-oled version of the switch but your delay might be one second it's just going to be playing around with that once you've got the pokeball lotto set up again which is pretty easy to do after you've done it a few times next thing is going to be going back into this screen again initiating to this point where you want to print something and hit your home menu again come down into system settings down in system and into date and time again and there is another date that you can put in this is four five guaranteed master balls so this is the 25th of march and this will be 2016 as well and the time that we need is 7 or 8 p.m and then the target seconds are 18 so again if you're on an oled switch you're going to be wanting to hit the a on 17 seconds after you press this a button and if you're on a older switch, it'll be 16 seconds that you'll be going for. So 
sync it up with your external clock and then come into game like i say we want to hit ours on 17 seconds and if i can get an overlay of the timer as well so you can see my exact a press at the time then i will do that for all of the ones that we've done today 15 16 17 so 17 if we've done this right like i say uh we want to change the jobs to 10 we should be getting five guaranteed master balls let's see if we've got some others oh, a nice big on and materials don't really matter like i've already mentioned they are just what you need for the requirements it's all about the timing and getting that exact target time and date spot on for the results in this but it is a really great way for us to be able to manipulate the item printer and save resources and there we go there's the five master balls if you hit that time of course all the times and dates for these different ones will be on overlays on the screen so you can take a look at them mark them down for yourself so there's the five master balls and heavy ball and like i say you don't need to reset your system in between doing it if you want to do it again you just come out of it go do that initial setup on the 22nd of april to get the item printer job to get the pokeball lotto and then do those two subsequent dates for the 10 drops for all of those different balls or the date that we've just done for the five master balls at the moment as it stands we only have those two dates but with people like phonics people like anubis working on this putting so much hard work into it and also the japanese trainers that have been working on it as well I'm sure we will get eventually a compendium of different dates where we're going to be able to get a bunch of different items, 10 of Beast Balls, 10 of Master Balls, things like that. And as soon as we do, and we've got that catalog of item lists with those dates and those target seconds alongside it. We'll do an updated video for you, but for now, these are there for you to use and get used to this process. Just make sure you've got an external clock to run alongside your switch. I haven't needed to switch down and power down my switch anytime I've needed to do it. It's just been a continuous process to be able to go in, get set up like we've done in the video today. Just follow the steps that we've done, put those new times and dates in, come in and just make sure that you are hitting through on that A I want to print at the specific target time. The only importance I guess is the delay that you're going to be hitting the A on. Whereas with the OLED, like I've mentioned throughout, is about a one second delay. And if you're on an older switch, it seems like you're hitting the A two seconds before the target second. So there we go, friends. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. Farming for all of these cool apricorn balls, beast balls, and the other balls that are available through the item printer. And like I say, sure, more information will be dropping very soon. So we'll be updating this as we go forward and gives us a lot more freedom to not have to waste so much resources utilizing what is a very good tool in scarlet and violet so i hope you found today's video useful if you've got any questions or let me know down in the comment section of course do drop a like if you found it useful it really does help the video out and i really appreciate it and it lets me know that you want more of this sort of content do subscribe to the channel as well if you don't want to miss any of the updates with other dates when they do drop thank you so much for tuning in again huge credit to everyone that's working on this in the community and all that stuff will be linked down in the description below if you want to take a look at their socials and where the original posts are coming from so thank you friends take care of yourselves have a great rest of your day i'll see you in another video very soon so until then take care bye bye